Hey, I'm Leah D'Amelio with Mahalo Daily, and today we're down at Image Metrics. From Grand Theft Auto to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Image Metrics has been showing its face to the world since 2001. Working five times faster than motion capture and ten times faster than keyframe animation, Image Metrics has developed the technology to capture an actor's performance without markers, special makeup, or stages, and transfer that image to a 3D model that leaps across the uncanny valley. Today, we're talking to director of production Pete Bush about Image Metrics' revolutionary performance driven facial animation and their newest face. Emily. First, tell me a little bit about the history of the company. The uh, company was started about 2000, 2001 in Manchester, England, and it was our um, founders are experts in computer vision technology. Um, about 2003, it found its way into the animation world um, and has since been a solution for many um, visual effects houses, video game studios. Um, as a solution for facial animation. So explain a little bit about the actual process of performance analysis. Well, performance, uh, we all start with the capture process and capturing an actor, whether that exists live, and we do that on a motion capture stage in a voiceover booth, or that's actually taking footage that already exists, we can work with that. So the, the capture process, once that done, we feed that footage, wherever that comes from, into our proprietary technology that analyzes that image pixel by pixel and tracking every movement on the face. Then we have uh, artists that are in charge of basically the performance transfer aspect of our pipeline, which is taking that data and applying that to a 3D model. And then what we export to the client is animation curves, which they're very familiar with in their own traditional pipeline. So what exactly is the Uncanny Valley? The Uncanny Valley, I guess we, you could define as, um, you know, moving from a cartoon performance and moving more into the the closer we can get to a human real performance, a photo real performance, usually the creepier it gets. And that's that valley you're trying to cross and there's things that are off. You might not know exactly why, but it's, it doesn't look exactly the way a human acts and performs. So the Emily video that you guys just recently released, then that's that has totally surpassed the uncanny valley. We're, we believe, you know, that we're very proud that we're kind of on the, on the cutting edge of that and pushing, pushing the envelope across the valley, you know, by any means, you know, we're, we're getting closer and we're getting there. The Emily Project totally caught my attention online. Links were flying around the internet like crazy. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to go check out the lab, so if you can take yeah. us around. I'm more than happy to show you. All right, let's go. Pete, I am now modeling one of the uh, head cams this is here. our head mounted camera. Okay, and so what we have here is just a small... It's a small, just a, actually standard definition camera. Like right. I said, we can uh, capture performance with a traditional tripod, like a live action scenario. But why we've developed the head cam is so that we can work in like a motion capture environment where a studio wants to capture all of the body movement, now we can capture the facial performance. All right, so we get to see a little behind the scenes on the Emily project. Yeah, so um, like I was explaining, what we did with Emily is we captured her from two different angles, as you can see here. Her face is very nicely, evenly lit. We can see and capture all of her little subtle details and her performance that she gave. This is real Emily giving that performance. So this has basically set the bar for what we were trying to admit in the end. So we go from image analysis to performance transfer. Performance transfer part of our process. All right. So what we did with Emily, as you can see here, is we, we've taken that image analysis data and have retargeted it. The model in the middle of her kind of her floating head is a 3D model that we've retargeted that, that data that we've fed in from the image analysis process. So the controls that our animators have to do on the right side is those little blue controls. You can actually drive that face to basically mimic her performance. What we're looking at here is our final output, uh, our final render that has basically taken the performance transfer part of our process, the animation, uh, combining with our um, lighting and render setup for all the shots that we did and take you through the performance here so that you can see that we have matched from what you saw on the performance analysis side. This is actually a CG model of Emily doing the same performance that she was doing in live action in the live action world. Wow. All right, well, we learned a lot about performance-driven facial animation, and to learn more, you can go to mahalo.com slash imagemetrics. That's it for Mahalo Daily. I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time.